Good evening, Hamburglers and Little Caesars. It's that night of nights, the most exciting event of the year. An event so deep fried and slathered in condiments, you're gonna need to get hosed down by the time it's over. The night when all of your favorite hamburgers, chicken tenders, and quesaritos get dressed up to the nines and toast to the year in fast food. Who will win? Who will go home empty handed? And who will give you the worst indigestion of your life? It's the second annual Thrillist Fasties. Please welcome your hosts, Tim Chantarangsu and David So. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Fasties. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. And I'm David So, and we're broadcasting live from these beautiful, very real beaches of sunny California. Huh. It's been a long ash year, and we know you haven't just been making quinoa kelp bowls for yourself every night. You've been doing donuts in that drive-thru, and that's okay, because we all have. Yes, yes, Tim. The fast food bell rang, you answered it, and we kept track of the best deliciousness not very much money can buy. But like everything else, the fasties look a little different this year. No fancy stage. No ball pit. No competitive eater in the corner, deep throating pounds of dominoes. You nasty, nasty boys. Instead, this year, we're taking a road trip across America to visit some of our favorite fast food landmarks. And of course, we'll be giving out awards along the way. Yeah, so don't get too comfortable. But wait, I'm a dad now, so I'm the responsible one. We gotta do our checklist before we head out. Gas? Check! Directions? Oh, even more check. Oh, okay. Do we have a, 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 a bottle full of uh, breast milk from my wife? I, I, I do not. It's really helpful for many things. I will ask her later. All right, whatever. Well, oh, wait a second. Is that a message in a bottle in the water? Sorcery, I say. Maybe someone from another dimension is trying to contact us. Oh, 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 oh maybe, maybe it's like a, a, a map that will lead to a pirate ship filled with gold doubloons. Yeah, I think it's just an old Captain Morgan's bottle. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh wait a second, David. <laughs> would you look at that? This is our first award. Get the hell out of here! That is our award for the best new menu item. What? The nominees for best new menu item are Taco Bell, Chicken Chipotle Melt, Church's Chicken, Chicken Sandwich, Chick-fil-A, Kale Crunch Side, Culver's, Harvest Veggie Burger, Wendy's, Maple Bacon Chicken Croissant. And the winner is Wendy's Maple Bacon Chicken Croissant. Damn. Mm -hmm, oui, oui. And now, Back for the second year in a row, here's Thrillist correspondent Will Fulton to present Wendy's with their award live in person. Thanks, Tim and David. I am back here once again with my very cheap suit on. We're about to pull through the Wendy's drive-thru and surprise some fast food employees with the award for best new menu item. Wendy's, on after you. Yeah, can I just actually have a couple just empty cups? I know that's weird. You can charge us for drinks, but I just want the empty cups. Okay, that will be alcohol, right? No. Okay. Oh, shit. I mean, it's just a rental, who cares? All right, here we go. Thank you. I actually have something for you. Really? Yes, on behalf of the entire team at Thrillist, uh -huh. we are here to congratulate Wendy's. You guys won a Fasties Award for the best new menu item of the year. <laughs> Your maple, bacon, chicken, croissant. This is for you guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you think, best new menu item of the year? Wow, that's great. Yeah, congratulations. And, and you're from where? Thrillist. Huh? Thrillist. What is it? It's a website. Oh, the website? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's okay, I'll give you that. This isn't real champagne. It's apple juice. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for working throughout the pandemic and keeping everyone fed. We really appreciate you we and everything try. you do and love we you guys. Try, Thank you. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Best new menu item of the year. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. Chin chin. Chin chin. The most important part of a road trip is the snacks. Yes, David, and as the responsible adult in this car, I have the perfect snack strategy to minimize pit stops. We're only stopping at the nominees for chain of the year, and if you have to pee in between, you're going on the side of the road, David. Oh, God. First snack situation is Taco Bell. 
Here we go. All right, all right, what do we got? I love Taco Bell. Oh, right here, the churros. Oh yeah, bro, I love Taco Bell, man. People talk so much about Taco Bell. Talk about, it gives me diarrhea. It gives me the bubble gush. But I feel like if you can't handle some meat and cheese, and veggies in a burrito, then you just got a bitch ass, weak ass, mark ass stomach, you know? Yeah, man. This is actually the happiest day of my life. This is great. Okay, where do I start? Oh, look at that. You got a little soft taco inside of a hard taco. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Mm. We got mm. some. We got some sauce over there. Diablo sauce. I like the fire. Oh, look at this right here. Mm -hmm. This right here, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Diablo sauce is. Good, man. Oh, first of all, cheers. We got margaritas. Oh, the best way to enjoy Taco Bell is with some margaritas. Híjole de la chingada, my Ay, hey, hijo de puta, de dónde? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, definitely got to get some of these nachos, though. Hey, 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 hey. That's mine. That's nachos. <laughs> Don't ever touch my food like that again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And look, to everybody that says like, oh. Taco Bell's not real Mexican food. Duh, are you dumb? It's Tex-Mex. Not even, it's Taco Bell. Taco Bell's Taco Bell. Taco Bell's Taco Bell, bro. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, is this the uh, Dorito taco? Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Cheesy potatoes. Can't be mad at that. Borados. Borados. You like that? Mm-hmm, nice, soggy, cold Taco Bell. <laughs> the way it's meant to be. <laughs> Taco Bell's good, hot or cold, my friend. Yeah, I'm not mad. I don't care what y'all say. I'm a little mad, but I'm not too mad. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Good thing you're driving, dog. So I'm like, I'm clean. I don't know if you're. Oh God! What the f up with these bold ass birds? Why are they so big? Huh? Oh. Well, they must eat a lot of Taco Bell. Hey, hey, hey! Ah! Consent. Ah! I got it in my mouth. A wing got it in my mouth. Please. He's a new father. Please. I have a child. Ah! Let's pack up this picnic and cut to a commercial break. We don't have a commercial. Oh, okay, if it cut to literally anything else. Hi, it's me, Kim Chi. Dressed to the nines in red carpet ready, fasty look. I chose this outfit because it reminded me of all the burger toppings. Today, I'm here to present the Fasties Award for Best Fast Casual Cheeseburger. The nominees for Best Cheeseburger Fast Casual are Shake Shack, Shack Burger Single, Five Guys, Cheeseburger, Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, Freddy's Original with Cheese, Burger Fi, Burger Fi Cheeseburger, Smash Burger, Classic Smash Burger. And the winner is... Shake Shack, Shack Burger Single. Oh, that sounds so good. I gotta get me a piece of that right now. I just wanna say thank you to all the fast food workers for being in the front line during this pandemic. Congratulations, Shake Shack. And now back to you. And look, we made it all the way to New Orleans and even went back in time to Mardi Gras. Oh no, and I'm going back into dad mode. It's a dad hat. No man, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. I can't help it man, it's already happening. David, don't forget to coat your stomach before a day of drinking with a nice hearty breakfast. Actually, that's not some bad advice. And speaking of breakfast, it's time for our next award for best breakfast. But where's the envelope? Where's the envelope? Well, I guess I gotta show my breast or breast fist. <laughs> Here it is. The nominees for best breakfast are Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Energy, energy. All right. Woo! And the winner is Chick Fil A. Now, no trip to New Orleans would be complete without stopping by to see our 
friend, Big Frida. Frida, what's popping? Hey, Tim and David, welcome to New Orleans. Who's going to win Chain of the Year? Oh, my God, it's between Popeye's, KFC, Taco Bell, and Wendy's. I'm going to have to go with Popeye's. Okay, so let's eat. I'm about to get dig on in. Yeah, good old Popeye's chicken. Mmm. I've been waiting on this chicken all day, honey. If there's a go-to spot for chicken, Popeye's is definitely the spot. Mix those ray beans up. Look at that. Good old creamy ray bean. Mmm. Popeye's is definitely one of the most famous chicken spots here locally. And we love to go to Popeye's, so we're eating Popeye's all the time here in New Orleans. You know, like when the spicy chicken sandwich came out, we had it kind of before everybody else in the world. You know, when the hype came out about the spicy chicken sandwich and everybody was fighting for it and all this all across the world, we already had it. And it was just like, it wasn't, you know, that hype <laughs> like everybody else had it. And I was like, girl, we had that already. Those good old fried shrimp. Oh yeah, those shrimp are really good. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a few more of those. Mmm, <laughs> the shrimp are bomb. And your producer just told me, this is your winner for the best fish sandwich, the Cajun fish flounder. I'm gonna try that from Popeye's. This is my first time trying it. It looks good. They didn't shortchange you on the fish, I tell you. Pretty good. I like all this Popeyes, girl. I'm gonna be so stuffed. So I do love Popeyes. Apple cinnamon pies. Has lots of cinnamon on them. They're really good. Mm. I like them when they have so much cinnamon and be just like all over your clothes. Give me extra cinnamon, baby. <laughs> Make it sweet and sugary like me. There's some mashed potatoes. I like their mashed potatoes, but I prefer Church's mashed potatoes or KFC. Cause now Popeye's put the little, there's this little stuff that be in the mashed potatoes. Like look, I guess it's supposed to be like a little meat or whatever. Everybody don't like that. When they want a mashed potato, they want mash and gravy. But y'all do have a good flavor of mashed potato. Just take the little stuff out of them. Mm -hmm, them little tablets. And Popeyes have some great biscuits. Like, see, this is a right biscuit. Sometimes you get them hard, but today they made them right. I thank you. Right now, the shrimp are my favorite. <laughs> they are delish. Yes, love that chicken from Popeyes. I appreciate the Popeyes. Y'all took care of my lunch for today. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Big Frida. Catch you next time. Hey, David. Yeah, Tim. Hey, hey, do you think we should play, uh... Oh, I think I know what you're about to say. A drinking game with Guy Fieri and Van Halen Sammy Hagar? And now, Tequila and Trivia with Guy Fieri and Sammy Hagar. Featuring Santo Tequila Reposado. Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Fast Ease. The now, Fasties? Yeah, Fast Ease. Yeah, like fasting? Yeah, not fasting. Oh, Fast, fast Ease. ease. Oh, okay. Exactly. And we're going to play a little tequila and trivia with the Red Rocker himself, Sammy Hagar and Guy Fieri. And uh, what should we tell them? What do you want to know? If we get the answer right, they take a shot. Mm. If we get the answer wrong, they take two shots. <laughs> That's a great way to play, don't you think? <laughs> Thank us later. Okay. Okay, first question. What fast food item pairs best with Santo Reposado? A, Doritos Locos Taco, B, the McRib, or C, anything from Long John Silver's? I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go taco. I gotta go taco I mean, too. I know I'm it's sorry. cliche. I'm sorry, but, I'm but gonna, absolutely, it's a, it's a no-brainer. You are correct. <laughs> One shot for you guys. You're lucky we didn't get that wrong. Now I see how it works. It's time for my medicine. Boy, oh boy, this tequila sure goes down smooth. Question number two. This one is kind of a math problem. How many Big Macs would fit inside an empty 747 jumbo jet? A, 7,629,333. B, 
B, 431,002. C, 1,455. Sammy has a 747. Yeah, but I've never Sammy. filled it with Big Macs. Big Macs, I know. You don't, and especially that you don't eat carbs. I'm gonna, I, do you have a, do you wanna- No, I, I, I could. I mean, honestly, I don't know that it's seven million, but I think it's the million number. C, that was C. One million. No? Oh dear, I'm afraid to say it was A. Damn, oh my gosh. we should have known, 747, 7,447,000. There you go, that's what well, we should have, we should, be. We should have figured that one out. Wait. They're gonna do two shots, we gotta wait for it. Okay, it's time to take two shots, everyone. Two, okay, good, you're done. Okay, back to the game. Question three, what is the best dipping sauce at any fast food institution? A, Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. B, Arby's Horsey Sauce. C, it's a 22-way tie between all the sauces at Chicken Guy. I'm gonna go Chicken Guy. Chicken, chicken guy. guy. Congratulations, there is only one right answer and it is all 22 sauces at Guy Fieri's Fast Food Restaurant. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you guys keep up. Bottoms up everyone, this one is for the Chicken Guy himself. Long may he reign. Okay, I am already hungover. This is the last question. What do you want to say to all the service workers who have been working at fast food restaurants throughout the pandemic feeding America? I want to say that Guy Fieri's been your best supporter. He's raised 26, 28, 30 million bucks for, for y'all, and I'm proud of him for that. That's what I want to say. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people that have had to step up during the pandemic. Food service workers, in all ways, shapes, or form, have been unsung heroes. And we, and we really appreciate it. We didn't know what we were facing. We still don't know what we're facing, but in very difficult, dark times, they weren't ready to eat at home the entire time. And they needed their fix and they needed their comfort. And you brought all that to them, even when it was a very difficult situation to be in. So you're all superheroes and we really appreciate what you did. Thank you, Guy and Sammy. I couldn't agree more. Back to you, Tim and David. Ding, 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 ding. Wow, I did not know Guy Fieri was into tequila like that. Mm, and I didn't know our announcer was either. Hmm. You know what? I, I, I'm not sure if he is. Well, everyone, we fake drove all the way in our fake cars to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, so pass the mint julep and give me my derby hat. I do say my money is on old Secretariat. Well, Secretariat croaked in 1989. Well, in that case, let's raise a glass and a bucket to the old boy, pour some out for the homies. Oh, well you said it, Tim. It's time for our next nominee for Chain of the Year, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Wait, wait, wait. There's something missing. You're right, David. This is the fasties. We gotta do things right. And the best way to eat fried chicken is with a little champagne. Champagne, please! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Shall we, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, get you, a, get you a piece, bro. Well, oh, you're gonna do a little bowl. I'm gonna do a bowl. This is what I've always wanted to try. Well, cheers. This is the, okay. How? The last time I had Kentucky Fried Chicken, mm -hmm. I was in the third grade in South Korea. Hmm. I caught food poisoning and I threw up and shit all over the place. Really? I haven't eaten it since. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Well, KFC, we meet again. Right here, right here. This is great. I like it. <laughs> I think you should have these chicken as well. Oh, we're just facing our fears today, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. People sleep on that original recipe. No, 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 do it. Okay. Do it. No, 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 big one. The seasoning is right. Eight herbs and herbs and some <laughs> original, some <laughs> you got a recipe. Yeah. <laughs> I do say, mm -hmm. my good man, mm -hmm. I enjoy this bowl of mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, cheese, and fried chicken. Mmm, mm, and the champagne goes really nice. Oh yes, nice compliment. Mm. Perhaps a little biscuit with a little bit of mashed taters gravy mm -hmm. and the locks. Mmm, mm-hmm. I'll mm. tell you what, I'm not mad at all. 
Mm-hmm. What the hell is in here? What's up? <gasps> Little chicken sandwich bites. What? You must try this. Oh wow, these are adorable. They're so cute. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's just great. Man, I am full and I am slippery. But you know what I could use some more of? Champagne? Champagne, my good friend. Let it flow. <laughs> and you know what you could use some more of, David? Awards. Well, guess what, buddy? We have two more to give out right now. Well, what is this? Fried chicken, I say. Nope, it's an envelope. Hmm. Well, first up, we have Best Value Menu. The nominees for Best Value Menu are Del Taco, Dell's Dollar Deals Menu, Taco Bell, Cravings Value Menu, Taco John's, The Valuist Menu, Wendy's, Biggie Deals Menu, Sonic Drive-In, Everyday Deals. And the fasties goes to Del Taco, Dell's Dollar Deals Menu. You don't say. I do say. Wow. Let's get the CEO of Del Taco to give a speech. Speech, 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 speech. Hi, I'm John Capasola from Del Taco, and we're so excited to hear that the Fasties are recognizing what we've been hearing from our guests about the Dell's Dollar Deals menu during this past year. So in celebration of this big win for Best Value Menu, I'm going to launch free churros in our Dell app for a limited time. So what's better than a hot, freshly made churro? I hope you enjoy it. Go check out the Dell app to get yours. On behalf of our 600 Del Taco restaurants nationwide, thank you so much to our friends at Thrillless and the Fasties for this great honor. Well, that was inspirational AF. It sure was, Tim. And you know what else is inspirational? What, David? The way that chains stepped up to get great deals to first responders in such a difficult year. You're right. That's why Thrillist is awarding a special best first responder deal award to the chain that showed first responders how much we love them. And the winner is McDonald's Thank You Meals. Thank you, McDonald's, for giving back to the community this year, you lovely, lovely people. Hi, everyone. I'm Morgan Flatley, Chief Marketing Officer for McDonald's. I'm so honored to accept this award on behalf of the entire McDonald's family. It was your local McDonald's franchisee that inspired us to take one big brand action. Almost a year ago today, we kicked off our Thank You Meal program and served over 12 million free meals to first responders and healthcare workers across the country. During the peak of the pandemic, our Thank You Meal offer was a small gesture of our appreciation for those who put their lives on the line to keep us safe and healthy. And I have to say, I couldn't be more proud of how McDonald's, our franchisees and agency partners came together during an incredibly difficult time. That's when McDonald's is at its best, serving craveable McDonald's food and some comfort in our local communities. It's so special to be recognized in the Fasties this year and see amazing stories like this celebrated across our industry. Thank you again and congratulations to all the winners. Fast food workers really were the unsung heroes of the pandemic. They were the ones who always showed up and kept America fed during a truly scary time. Man, I wish we could honor every fast food employee for their hard work this year. Let's hear stories from a few people who really made a difference at the drive-thru. Over the last year, it's been a trying year, as you can imagine, with COVID, but you still have a job to do, and I'm just happy to be able to go to a job because so many people can't work. It was not a normal day. Went to work early, realized that there was a problem in drive through where a man was parked the wrong way. He was passed out, so I had to go out there. I had to get help, get him out of the car. I did CPR on him until the ambulance and fire trucks got there. And once they did take over and was able to put him on a stretcher, he showed a sign of life. And that just made my day to see that he was okay. I'm the type of person where I like to make people smile. So I went, I went out and bought all these crazy masks that said funny things or that had funny faces because I wanted them, I wanted customers to smile. 
you know, it's a trying time for everybody. So they just want to see a familiar face. And I've been here for so long. Everybody recognizes me and knows me by name. I have a lot of regulars, as you can imagine. And it's just so nice to have them come in and share their stories because we're all going through this pandemic together. St. John's is a residential home for seniors. So right at the onset of the pandemic, our staff were just to like, hey, let's get in touch with these guys to see what they need. So we thought we, we would uh, not only change up what they're eating every day, but we thought we would bring some normalcy, you know, like, like this happy meal here. We would package all the meals up in this box. We put notes of encouragement in there. You know, they, they wanted to jump in there and help. So nice to be appreciated for what you do and to make people's day. And that's why I stick around. I love it. I couldn't be happier. No. <laughs> you too, oh Tim. <laughs> I can't believe we made it all the way to Texas. These sure are some beautiful bovines. Why, they really are. Ah, but before we get too distracted by the beautiful, sacred, sexy, thick-ass, succulent cows who must be protected at all costs, it's time for our next award, Media's Burger. <laughs> Best plant-based meat item. That's better. Well, what do we have here, Timmy, Timmy, Cowboy Tim? The nominees for Best Plant-Based Meat Item are Carl's Jr., Beyond Fiery Famous Star, Carl's Jr., Beyond Famous Star with Cheese, White Castle, Impossible Slider, Quiznos, Plant-Based Corned Beef Sammy, Del Taco, Beyond Tacos and Burritos. And the winner is Quiznos Plant-Based Corned Beef Sammy. Wow, the QPBCBS. That's <laughs> crazy. I don't know how you did that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Quiznos out here? On behalf of Rigo Restaurant Group, I am thrilled to accept this award. It is an honor to be recognized, particularly with so much innovation happening in the restaurant industry. This recognition really is a testament to how good our plant-based corned beef sandwiches really are. On behalf of the stellar team we have at Quiznos, thank you. A special thank you to our chef, Mike Giesman, for continuously turning out innovative, tasty, and craveable sandwiches. Also to Jenny Goldfarb, creator of the Unreal Deli product we are using for developing such a delicious product that allowed us to bring a plant-based menu item to our consumers. And finally, thank you to our franchisees for partnering with us to flawlessly execute this test. This year marks Quiznos' 40th anniversary, and in that time, we've truly become the sandwich experts. We are thrilled to take that knowledge and apply it to plant-based subs as well. Thank you again, and stay toasty. And now let's take a moment to wish a few friends of the Fasties a very happy birthday. First up, we have Trudy McAllister from French Lick, Indiana. Trudy didn't only turn 97 this year, she also went viral on TikTok for telling a group of teenagers to stop gyrating in front of those tiny screens and get a real job. She also enjoys puppetry and making homemade potato cannons. Next up, we have Daryl Haberschweiser. He is celebrating 95 with a tequila party in Possum Buff, Florida, surrounded by his grandchildren and ex-girlfriends. His friends call him the mean drunk because that's what he is. And that's all it says here, okay. Finally, it's the recipient of our 2021 Lifetime Achievement Award, White Castle, who is now turning the big 100. White Castle has been in existence since underwear looked like fancy parachutes. Liquor was illegal when White Castle entered the scene. Woodrow Wilson was the president. White Castle is so old. And now to accept the Lifetime Achievement Award, here's White Castle. <sighs> Hello. As the White Castle Slider Queen, I am honored to accept this Lifetime Achievement Award on behalf of all of our team members who have worked for us for over 100 years. We are a family-owned business, and we exist to feed the souls of Craver generations everywhere and create memorable moments every day. We're so thankful to our friends at Thrillist and to all of our restaurant competitors for all of the good that we do collectively, from the jobs that we have, to the money that we give to local charities, to the food that we feed to our customers morning, noon, and night. I know that my great-grandfather Billy would be so honored that the industry that he helped create is bringing joy and nourishment to so many. 
So thank you and long live sliders. All right, we chugged some fountain sodas and we're back in the Buckeye State. Buckeye State, you say? You might be wondering, what are Tim and David doing in plain old Ohio? After all, their wild adventures on the shores of California and the cow fields of Texas, ooh. I am in fact wondering that myself, David, so. Oh, well, Tim, did you know Ohio is a common testing market for new fast food items? No way! Yeah, so before you get all high and mighty about the flyover states, maybe try and remember that Ohio might be the very reason the KFC Double Down saw the light of day. So, since we're in Ohio, what do you say we test some brand new fast food items of our own, David? We have burgers from all types of fast food chains here, and we are gonna try and put together our own special little burger using all the ingredients from these different spots. Wow! Mm-hmm, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh -huh. Okay, let's make us some burgers. How you feeling here? First of all, Arby's curly fries. Yes. I have to get some of that. Yes, please. Delicious. Let's start with, I'm gonna do, oh my God, no, ho, ho, double, double. Okay. This is the good foundation for one of the best burgers ever made. Fast food burgers anyways. Facts, I'm gonna go and get the bread from this Arby's roast beef sandwich because it's looking Ooh. real soft. I like the sesame seeds. Oh. Let's open this up like so. Mm -hmm. What is inside the Wendy's JBC? Oh, bacon. I'm gonna take steal the bacon out of the JBC. Okay. Right? I'm just gonna have some of this roast beef. I'm gonna take the bacon out of that, which is great. This already has cheese. But let's throw in some of the curly fries in there. I need some. Uh, I need some mayo on my situation. I'm just oh, gonna lay down mayo some mayo situation. here. Okay. okay. Extra animal sauce, of course. Of course, from In and Out. Yes. Gotta have it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also, I'm gonna do some mustard as well. I like a lot of sauce on my shit, dog. I don't okay. know about you. Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. You know what I need though? Hmm. A little Arby's roast beef sandwich sauce. What? As a little tang that it needs for the curly fries and the bacon. Wow, you crazy. Oh yeah, I'm getting crazy today, man. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go with, uh, mm -hmm. as far as my protein, I'm gonna go with the only flame broiled option here and go with the Whopper meat. You're crazy. Yeah. What else do I have to do? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. You know what? We might as well just add this extra beef patty here. Okay, so I see you. I see So we triple it up. Mm -hmm. And then, let's add a little Del Scorcho, just to add a little heat. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. This okay. is gonna happen. Okay, okay. This is going to happen. There we go. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, wait, give me get, let me get that in and out sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And here we have the diarrhea, my favorite burger are ever. You, are you done already? Oh, I'm done. This is, I don't want to do too much. Oh my gosh, hold on a Look second. at you. Look at you spreading that filthy stuff around. Hey, man. I'm all about spreading the filthy shit. I'm stuff. gonna bite into mine. Okay, okay, you go ahead. Hold on a second. I'm still working on mine. Um, how's that? Fire? Okay, okay, wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me go. Let me just go ahead and get. I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna throw some in and out on mine too. Mm -hmm. The in and out. They cut their onions so thick. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like eating like a double double from in and out and just getting that big old chunk of onion on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's a whole motherfucking onion. Mm -hmm. I need some of this. Oh, baby. Let's just throw that in there, too. Okay. Might What's that? Some roast beef. Okay. I see you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So here, here's what I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, got the, I got the Whopper. I got the mustard. I got the In-N-Out. I got the In-N-Out sauce. I got the big ass onion. I'm going to also throw some Taco Bell Diablo on top. Just a little oh, drizzle. Just a little cause drizzle. Because you ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch, dog. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. What's that? Horseradish. Horseradish! I didn't even know we have horseradish. Horseradish right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little, a little Arby sauce there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the Looks onion good. with all the um the sauces I got on there, mm -hmm. the horseradish and the kick of that Diablo, mm -hmm. kind of crazy. I'm gonna put horseradish del scorcho sauce. Arby sauce and cheese, keto friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you call yours, Tim? Let's see. I got the, I got the animal sauce, and I got the um, Diablo on there, and uh, got a bunch of onion, and um, uh, so I'm gonna call it the um, 
the uh, the uh, fun burger. All right, you had us wait for all that. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> Damn it! I actually f with this Arby's roast beef so much. It was really good. It's like really thin deli meat. Hi, Matt. Here you go, David. Would you like to try mine? Yes. Trade these. Trade these. Are your hands clean? Oh, it's very clean. Okay. I burned it earlier with some flames. That's as clean as it gets. Hmm. Hmm. Great choice on the Whopper meat. I feel like mine's better. Well, <laughs> you could be a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like yours. Well, yours sucks too, though. <laughs> I was gonna say compliments, but never mind. <laughs> You're set. Just gonna put this down. <laughs> gonna be honest with you, I'm this close to quitting this gig and becoming a fast food developer, but I got bills to pay and awards to give out. Well, speaking of awards, David, next up is Best Chicken Nuggets. The nominees for Best Chicken Nuggets are KFC, Popcorn Nuggets, McDonald's, Chicken McNuggets, Jack in the Box, Chicken Nuggets, Wendy's, Crispy Chicken Nuggets, Chick-fil-A, Nuggets. And the fasty goes to... Chick-fil-A Nuggets. Wow. What? Let's throw it back to Will to give them their award in person this time. All right, thanks to me, David. So we're on our way to Chick-fil-A and going in, it doesn't even look open right now. There's no one in the parking lot. Hold on. They're not even open today. It's Sunday. Uh. As it turns out, Chick fil A is actually closed on Sunday. So we're just going to leave the award at the drive through window. But it actually looks like the drive through is totally blocked. Is this a vaccination site? I don't know what to do. I have an idea. Best moments. Oh yeah, I forgot. And now we try our final chain of the year nominee, which is good because I don't know how I could possibly eat another freaking bite. Man, facts. But it's okay, because we got Wendy's. First up, I shall have the Frosty. Oh yeah, do you do the fry in the Frosty and turn it all around? Well, I've never heard of such a thing. What? That's a thing, bro. Why? Why? Because it's delicious. Why? You take your fry, you dip it in your frosty. Oh, I don't know about all that, but it's a salty and sweet situation. It's delicious. I can see that, but I prefer my frosty like a normal person. All right. Oh, my favorite way to do it: baked potato with frosty. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oh yeah, look at this creamy deliciousness. Oh yes. Oh, mm. and the Wendy's nuggets though, the spicy nuggets. Come on now. Mm. Please mm -hmm. enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. Um, you gotta take the, the nugget, dip it in your frosty. You just do things to do things, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm How about you try this lovely burger, Tim? Oh, looks like we got a junior bacon cheeseburger. What? Delicious. I'm gonna throw a little barbecue sauce on this situation. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm -hmm. I'm a little lactose. I'm gonna fart it up soon. Oh, I've been this whole time. What we got here? Looks like a, a double bacon cheesy situation. What you do is you dip it in your shake. <laughs> Tim, we don't have to do you this You dip at it all. in your shake. You don't have to do that. Can't go wrong with that. Tim, you might have something here, and I feel like I'm missing out. Tim, mm. you are a genius. <laughs> just a little, it's a little frosty there, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you are wrong. It tastes fine without it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. So. Bacon, cheese, burger, ain't nothing wrong with that. This is the only place that has a square patty, too. I know. Why do they do that? I have no f***ing clue. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Wendy's also, if you want to be healthy with it, you get your shake, <laughs> put, on that <laughs> put on that salad. You get a little bit of that right there. Hey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Tim, you, you're on to something, dude. What? You didn't tell me about this. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta make sure you get yourself a nice piece of chicken with it. <laughs> and this right here, guys, mm -hmm. is great. All right, I love it. Oh, the blue cheese is great with <laughs> That's it. That's what brings it all together. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Can't go wrong. You didn't tell me there was blue cheese in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know either. <laughs> All right, guys. I just need like 60 seconds with my pants unbuttoned, and I'm going to be a new man, okay? Just help me out here. Yeah, why don't you guys just like roll a clip or something, huh? That blue cheese and salad is delicious. And now, a look through the awards we didn't have time for. Best Onion Rings, Sonic Drive-In, Best Fast Casual Fries, Five Guys, MVP, Most Valuable Pickle, Church's Chicken Sandwich, Best Fast Food Award Show, The Steamies, Best Thrillist Employee, Harley Morenstein, Best Supporting Actor, 1983, Louis Gossett Jr. in An Officer and a Gentleman, Best Movie About Mystic Pizza goes to Mystic Pizza, Best Announcer That You Never See, me, best attempt at making things work with my wife. Hey man, Jeff, why don't you take a break, okay? Yeah, Jeff, we, uh, we got it from here. Thanks so much for your help. Go have a Gatorade or something. You guys keep me young. You're my bros. Uh, okay, Jeff, thanks so much, man. I hope he's okay. Maybe we shouldn't have had him play that tequila game. Yeah, he's gonna bounce back from this, uh, hopefully, especially now that it's the most exciting moment in the night. Wow, it's time for Chain of the Year. Beer, 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 beer. That's right, the winner of this year's Chain of the Year is... Wait, 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 wait. You're doing it now? Just like that? Yeah, how else should we do it? I don't know, I mean, I thought maybe we could, you know, do some sort of flash mob, or at least, you know, hold a, like a balloon or something. Okay, well, can someone get Tim a balloon? Or so We don't have time for this, all right? And finally, your nominees for Chain of the Year are KFC, Popeyes, Wendy's, Taco Bell. The winner for Chain, Chain of, of the, the Year, year is... Wendy's! Hi, I'm Carl Laredo, Chief Marketing Officer at the Wendy's Company. On behalf of the entire team at Wendy's, it's an honor to be here today to accept the Fasty for Chain of the Year. In a year unlike any other, I'm incredibly proud of all the team has accomplished. From our breakfast day part launch in March, to the introduction of Wendy's Rewards in July, to taking the game up another notch with our one-of-a-kind sandwiches like the Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger. It wasn't the year the team at Wendy's or the world was expecting, but it left me incredibly inspired and motivated. In the toughest of times, we were able to show up for our fans in unique, different, and special ways. Thank you to our fans and to Thrillist for the honor. Might just order a Baconator and a Frosty to celebrate the win. Well, folks, that's our show. We got to travel the country, eat some amazing food, and honor some heroes. And announcer Jeff went balls to the wall with Guy Fieri and Sammy Hagar's new tequila. That's right, I hope he finds some peace. 
I need to go find a good place to curl up and take a food coma nap and take a food coma poo. Well, me too, Tim, same toilet. But before we do, thank you to all the fast food workers out there who worked so hard this year to keep us fed. And thank you to Thrillist for making us host another damn food show for a little bitty bit of money. I've been Tim Chantharangzu. And I've been David So. And this has, has been, been The Fasties. Fasties. Me too. <laughs>